Hey guys, Brennan Mejia here. So today's video is gonna be a bit more lighthearted where we're gonna watch bloopers from my season of Power Rangers Dino Charge. I don't actually know if I've seen these before all the way through, so let's hopefully get some laughs together. Power Rangers, Power Rangers Dino Charge. To show your sincerity, you must open it and read to me what's inside. Ah, oh, this is our addition. Brennan Mejia, you are the Red Ranger. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Really? Yeah. Are you for real? Yeah. First, did you see those biceps? I mean, come on. Of course, Red Ranger. No. Uh, yeah, so that was the fake audition that they gave us where they called us in one final time after telling us we were done with all the auditions a month later. And so I had to drive from San Diego to LA and I was annoyed because I was working seven days a week as an acrobat at the San Diego Zoo. And I was like, man, I don't wanna have to drive back and then drive back before we perform. But what was I gonna say? No to one final round. And I was like, I don't wanna go. And then when we get to the audition, they gave us the script. This was the first time I ever laid I had like ever laid eyes on this script. And I asked them, I said, can I walk outside of the room really quick just so I can read through this? And they're like, no, no, just do it in the scene. And I was like, I, I can't read it? Because I've never had that happen. I've had cold reads before, which is what it's called when you're first handed the script. But typically they'll give it to you and they're like, yeah, yeah, 15 minutes or so, and then we'll call you into the room. None of that. It was straight into reading it. The first time my eyes looked at it, it was the first time I said it out loud. And in my brain, I was going, wow, this is gonna be a horrible audition because I have no time. Like prep work is where the magic comes from usually. But then in the script, as you saw, it's like, open this chest and your destiny will be review revealed. And then they handed me that chest and then it was a, a, a laminated picture of the Red Ranger going, congratulations, Brennan Mejia, you're the Red Ranger. So it was a setup. <laughs> Yes! Oh, oh my god! Green! Awesome. You guys are awful! See? Are yeah. you serious? We didn't meet James until New Zealand because he auditioned in New Zealand separately. I wasn't there for that day and apparently they were telling me after they did this, no one was amused on set. Like they just, they said it was like crickets. Everyone just wanted to get on with the day. And then they're purposely making like jokes with something they say all the time. And you know, there's a stunt guy in the background as the monster, probably can't breathe well in that. And they're just like, these young adults playing teenagers, wasting time on purpose. Uh, but then they thought it was funny enough to put into this outtakes blooper reel. So obviously someone thought it was funny. <laughs> James dance. Woo! Don't shoot your teammates! Friendly fire! Santa, no! So that slide uh, was slippery and it was not connected to the exterior of the museum like you see in the show where we go down the giant T-Rex thing. That's at a different location. Our slide was just basically around the corner on the outside of the set, but still in the same stages that they built it all. So you just like go up and down and up and down and up and down. And then the power of editing. It looks like we entered from outside. <laughs> Far out. I feel like he says that. He did, I remembered. Yeah, I was there for that. So the only one of us who already knew how to work with that morpher well was Yoshi because he used to do the Western stunt show at Knott's Berry Farm. So he was already a gunslinger. He could do it forward and backwards and he could do it sideways. So I put in time to learn. So I'd always practice over grass whenever we had the morphers. And I, I got it pretty well, but not as good as him still. I have dropped the Dynamorph Blaster my fair share of times, but never broke it. So that's okay. Keeper, no! And then you can't put shirts on. It was an interior. Yeah, that was funny. That was one of those times that we all just, you know, wanted to tell her what it was. And she knew. Ah, but also with Michael Tabor with that shirtless scene, Yoshi and I we're also mad at Chip for that, our producer, because we're like, why does Michael get a shirtless scene when we're constantly asking for one and then you don't let us be shirtless? I think I was finally shirtless in the, the sun 
was it Sunray, Sunrage? I don't know. The monster that made it summer forever and they kept moving when like the, the shoot was and it ended up being at the end of the day. So I didn't eat like all day. Cause I was like, I'm gonna be shirtless. Not that you have to not eat for shirtless scenes. I just didn't know how to prep properly at the time for that stuff. So yeah, I finally got to be shirtless, but not in a fight or anything, whatever. So Camille knocked it out of my hand. She fell so often running into takes like that. And I did it one time too. <laughs> no, pink! Popcorn down! Green down! Heckle heckling! Belt buckle buckle buckling! <laughs> getting stuck. So yeah, in those suits, honestly, I felt for the stunt team every time they put those on because it's hard to see, it's hard to breathe, not easy to move in. And the fact that they make it so seamless and look like they're fighting and waiting and dodging and weaving, it takes a lot of training. Our stunt team on Power Rangers, some of the best I've ever seen. Okay, and 13% overhead, what's the net income? 6%. Perfect. Perfect. Great. You're right, Camille. <laughs> Camille, <laughs> not Shelby. Sorry, 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 tell me. We shall be feasting on roast weasel before the day is out. What? You ate weasel poo back then? No. Oh. Poo. Number one. Number two. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got some of the directors, the hair and makeup team, some of the crew. So that guy who was just nodding, holding the boom mic, that's Owen! And Owen, his uh, claim to fame that he would share with us was that he was the guy who recorded Gandalf saying, you shall not pass. You shall not pass! So he captured that iconic line. That was one of our directors showing us where our line of sight was supposed to be for this thing flying out of the base. That sledge. <laughs> That's great. Go, go Power Rangers. So watching the blooper reels definitely takes me back. Yes, Power Rangers is a job, you know, when you're filming like any other job, but not like any other job. Yes, there were early days and long days and you were tired and wanting to go sleep and whatever, and you were hungry, but I will forever treasure my time filming Power Rangers. And it's almost hard to rewatch some of it now just because, you know, we're coming on our 10 year anniversary next year for Power Rangers Dino Charge. And just to know that it's done and still waiting to see what's happening next with Power Rangers. I don't know. Anyway, if you wanna see my thoughts on what Power Rangers should do next, watch this video.